y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is niara alexis and like the title says today i'm bringing back the favorites if you are like an og youtube watcher you know that like the youtubers back in the day they used to have a favorites every month some still do it probably um and they would just round up their favorite products but i asked you guys recently in a poll if you would want to see that and y'all were all for it so i can't promise that we're gonna do a favorites every single month i don't want to force it we'll see how it goes we'll see okay this is the first one of 2023 so it's for january let's start off with the hair because that's why most of y'all are here most of y'all or here for the hair and i do just want to say it's not just going to be all hair products because y'all know i do like to use a lot of the same products so first up this is the heritage by mindy bonding pre-treatment so what you do with this is you wet your hair before you wash it put this on your ends let it chill for like 10 15 minutes or so and then you go in and wash your hair and do your full like wash day routine lover never now like i always notice a difference when i use this this should not be used in place for trimming your ends though this is the andrew fitzsimmons restructuring 10 in 1 leave-in conditioner love her the one thing i like about the andrew fitzsimmons line the most is that it gives you very luxe vibes but it's very 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 affordable i won't say, it's not like two dollars but it's affordable you can pick it up at ulta um, I want to say this is like 15 or so dollars. It's not super pricey. I thought these were like, when they sent me, they so kindly sent me over a very generous PR package with a bunch of products. I was like, I know these products cost an arm and a leg and they do not. And the next product, I actually just reviewed this today and I was like, I need to add it into the favorites like when I film it. This is the Way Thick Hair Conditioner. Now I have been trying to find just like a regular conditioner for the longest time. The girls are not screaming for nothing. The first thing Thing. obviously it's so aesthetically pleasing like look at that look at her love the packaging the scent <laughs> scent alone just takes me to like to the upper room to heaven like it's great i love how this smells and it's a nice conditioner my hair feels softer smoother like i just washed my hair with it today and i'm definitely going to be going back to try more away products now are they more expensive than your drug show products absolutely they are I don't know what to say. Moving on, let's get into uh, some makeup, okay? I have a few makeup products here. Um, first, I have the Amicole uh, Brow Gel. This is a black-owned brand that is now carried in Sephora, so make sure you guys check it out. I actually have a review I've done of like the full Amicole system. It's just such a nice brow gel. Um, and my favorite thing about it, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, there's a longer side, which I feel like is for like if you have like longer hairs and then there's like a shorter side this is brand new i just got this like maybe a week or so ago this is the lancome taint taint it all ultra wear all over concealer i wear the shade 460 i want to say it's like 460 warm suede or something like that i have been looking for a concealer for the longest time that was the perfect mix of like i could wear it every day and it was like not too bright but it was bright enough for me to wear with full glam this is like a happy medium this shade i haven't been able to find a shade like this the applicator it's so big and it's called the all over concealer because you could literally spot conceal anything on your face you will love this because you get a good amount of products in it and the applicator is super big oh why are you shaking her so feeling a little rickety okay I guess we can like go into like our Chanel thing. So I told you that we had um, three makeup products. So this is a third makeup product. This is the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. Did I did I did I hit my 2,000 calories for the day? I did. <laughs> okay. Um. So this is a setting powder by Chanel. I think I reviewed this before. I'll link it down below if you like are interested in a more in-depth review. I initially had gotten this to set underneath my eyes with it. It's too dark of a shade for me. You guys know I'm still tied to my tried and true Laura Mercier translucent honey. I like this to set all over my face. I have it on today and it's like, it just like blurs everything. Your face just looks so smooth, but in a natural way. I don't like setting powders that make you look cakey or make you look extra like powdery. And it really does give you like a true like natural like, um, like she looks done, she looks set, but she doesn't look crazy like caked up. One of my favorite ways to incorporate like luxury into like my day-to-day -day life is like little designer um, makeup products or like 
everyday products. So this is a Chanel lip balm. Like, look at her. Look at. Her. Okay, I just pull that out and throw it like it's my little chapstick. I love this. Was it fifty dollars? Yes. Does it do the same thing as like Burt's Bees, which I don't like that chapstick. Y'all shouldn't use it either because I heard it's not really good for your lips anyways. Um, yeah. I'm not saying like, oh, it's so worth it. It's the best lip balm you'll ever use. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying I just like, you know, like a little luxury is something. So let me just say, I probably could buy a Chanel bag. But to me, being able to buy a Chanel bag and affording a Chanel bag are two different things. Like if I lost my Chanel bag, I would be gutted. My idea of affording something is, can I buy it twice or can I lose it and not be bothered by it? And the answer is no. So like to me, I'm like, you can, but you can't really afford it. That's just how I think. I also have the Chanel hand cream that I really like. I have another Chanel item that I got for my birthday. This is a Chanel number no. five. I don't know how you say this. L-E-A-U, L apostrophe, -E -E whatever. Let me just tell you, if you don't like Chanel number no. five perfume, I'm there right there with you. I don't like Chanel number no. five either, but this one is different. She hits different. I got a sample of her and I made sure I drilled it into like my mom and my boyfriend. I was like, I like this perfume. I like this. I like this perfume. It smells so fresh, so pow it's a powdery scent. And also I don't think this is like a, um, like a, a perfume oh yeah no it's an edu toilette which basically means there's less perfume oil in it so it doesn't last as long as like a true perfume i have a one skincare item this is a kate somerville exfoliate okay now i am 31 and y'all always say like 31 what and i'm like yes girl i'm 31 okay thank you i'm trying to be like more conscious and aware of my skincare and not just like go with the flow and i needed an exfoliator i used to use this back in the day and i loved it and then i stopped using it i i know why i stopped using it because it's, it's expensive it's pricey and when i was using it back in the day i was like making my first like big girl check but reality hit me quickly and i was like girl you can't afford that now i'm in a better position and i can't afford it and i bought the small size first i know you're probably like girl if you can afford it why are you buying the mini i bought the small size first because it had been so long since i used it and typically what happens is brands reformulate their products over the years and i knew it had been more than a year plus since i used this so i didn't want to invest and buy the big size if it had reformulated and it wasn't as good it's just as good i do it every sunday night and every wednesday night um while we're talking about skincare i get i guess this kind of goes with skincare um this is like dental care okay um so i have this toothpaste from colgate this is their optic renewal 10 times whiter teeth when i first started using this i like instantly like i was sitting here like the next week filming and i could not stop looking in the viewfinder. My teeth don't look crazy. Like, like I don't have chocolate white teeth, okay? Um, but my teeth looked whiter when I started using this. And I was like, what, girl, really? The only qualm I have about this, Colgate tried to play us like how they do the lace chips. Cause it's like all air up here. All the toothpaste was down here. I swear to you, it was only filled like this much. Next, I went to the dentist recently one thing i did learn is that the floss that i was using it was too smooth and it was like kind of just gliding over the plaque and i needed a floss that was rougher to like actually get at the plaque this is coco floss it's a very like aesthetic like a uh, fashion girl type of floss because i've seen it all over instagram before can i find a rougher floss like at target or like walgreens or something probably but i just i thought of it and i was like i'm gonna buy the coco floss and i looked up on amazon and i bought it i do like it though Will I buy it again? Probably not. These are like bath time essentials and I can't even take credit for these, okay? Our girl, Kyra Amanique, she knows her sense, okay? If there's one thing she knows, it's her nose. <laughs> See what I did? She was talking about this body wash. I believe she mentioned it on her YouTube, but I've also seen it on her Instagram as well. This is a Cremo All Season Body Wash, number 10. The scent that you wanna get though, cause I be seeing it, but I don't be seeing the scent. Is silver water and birch. Now the thing is, 
Kyra done taught the girls. And so whenever I go on Target now, I do not be seeing this scent in there. But I bought this off of Amazon. I didn't even try to find it in Target. I bought it off Amazon and I got mine in a two pack. So this is like the fresh, nice one, but the other one is in the shower because it's getting used up because we like it. When you go on Target, if you're looking for it, it is in the men's section. Like look in the men's like body wash section. I couldn't find a lotion or anything for it, but what I did find is they have this cologne. That scent is a very like unisex scent. Bye bye. This smells so good. So you, you get the body wash, right? Wash your body up. Put your lotion on when you get out of the shower. Spray this all over you, you smell rich. Our last product here, it's a little fashion girly, okay? This is another item that I have been saying for my birthday because sometimes you just gotta, you know, you gotta put it out there. People aren't mind readers. They're not mind readers. That's what I had to learn. You have to tell them what you like. <sighs> Hey girl. This is by the brand JWP Pie. Don't know how you say it. It'll pop up on the screen. I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> and it's not a million dollars either. You know, I already have my rhinestone cup, so this is like right up my alley. Now, does it hold much? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You are fitting your cards in here, a lip gloss, a keys, and like if you have a whole bunch of keys, you need to just make sure it's your house key and your car key on there and that's it and put it in here. Your phone is absolutely not fitting in. Those are all of my um, January face. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.